Hello. My name is Timothy Trespass. And I am a human being who has found himself targeted given Morgellons disease, uh, exposed to nanoparticles and nanotechnology, microwaves, and uh, V2K, remote neural monitoring. The list goes on and on. Um, I wanted to mention, well, see, this kind of stuff, this scares me. Every time I see somebody whose home has been displaced and everything they own is thrown in the garbage. Like, where did they go? It's all over this neighborhood. Anyway, before I forget, <clears throat> I, I had a thought last night. A very interesting thought. And I would almost go so far as to say, God sent me this thought. I don't know. I know human beings do things in their minds to justify and understand ununderstandable, unjustifiable, insane circumstances that are difficult to accept. Uh, so we make up stories. We make up reasons. We make up things that fit our perspective of the world. Frequently our ideas do not uh, go beyond the bounding boxes and fences and guardrails of society's programming and our understanding of what's real and what's possible and what people would do. But there are those of us who are forced to not only think outside that box but live outside that box. Anyway, I digress. This thought that I had, is it one of these thoughts that you come up with to try to make yourself feel better? Or did God actually give it to me? There's Petra. There she is, walking by, like two ships that pass in the night. Where is she? Over here. She didn't even know I was here, and I'm going to let her go because she's got a lot on her mind right now. You can tell when she's walking around with her head down like that. Anyway, this thought that may have been put into my mind by the Lord God said, Timothy, look at the people around you. Look at the way they're responding to your outpouring, to your news, to your story, to your situation, to your reality. Look at the way they're responding. Look at how many people get angry and turn you away? How many people refuse to listen? How many people listen and then brush it off because it's too much to comprehend? Or too frightening to understand? Or uh, all these pockets and things. Too, um, too difficult to, to accept because frequently Accepting these things will lead you to, um, excuse me, I know that's a horrible habit and I'm trying to quit, but the stress is just a little too much at times. Anyway, where was I? The way that people respond to you. Perhaps God put you here on this planet and put you through all this rigmarole and hijinks and sickness and brainwashing schools and you know, on and on and on, uh, excuse me, for a particular purpose. What might that purpose be, you ask? Well, I'll tell you. The purpose is to see how other people respond to give a reason, just like all the other sick people, all the other broken people, all the retarded people, all the, the old people, all the poor people, all 